Hi, I'm Jack Crutchfield, and welcome to Obscurely Famous Graves. It's all about the history behind finding someone famous, someone not so famous, and the odd places they're buried in. I want to give you an example of how much fun grave hunting can be. And if you're into history like I am, there's an unexpected bonus that comes your way. I want to show you four pictures. I'm going to see if you can guess who they are. Bear with me, and when we're finished, I'll show you the connection. Here's the first guy. Any idea? Well, this is Henry Clay, the great statesman from Kentucky. He's the key. Keep him in mind. Here's number two. That's all the time you get. This is John Hunt Morgan, uh, general for the Confederate Army. John Hunt Morgan. Okay, here's number three. It's a tough one. This is John C. Breckinridge. He was Vice President of the United States under James Buchanan. And here's number four. And everybody probably knows who number four is. Ernest from the movies. It's Jim Varney, the actor. Now, here's the key. Can you guess what these four men would have in common? Give up? They're all buried in the same cemetery in Lexington, Kentucky. And here's the part that is so intriguing to me. I had decided to go find where Henry Clay was buried in Lexington, so I did a little due diligence to see who else was there. So if not for going to find Henry Clay's grave, I would have never known that John Hunt Morgan, the hero of Morgan's raid, made his famous raid by disobeying orders because he was ordered not to cross the Ohio River. Got in all kinds of trouble, lost, his men were all captured, he escaped. And he went back and did it again the second time he died. Never would have looked up John Hunt Morgan, never would have studied about his life. Now our second guy, if not for Henry Clay's grave, I would have never known that John C. Breckinridge, Vice President of the United States, was the youngest Vice President ever at age 36, but he was also the only vice president ever that led troops against the United States because he went with the Confederacy and actually became the Secretary of War late in the Civil War and is responsible for most of the records that we have today from the Confederacy because he refused to destroy him. John C. Breckinridge. Now here's a stretch. If not for Henry Clay's grave, I would have never known that Jim Varney, Ernest from the movies, was a trained actor who actually studied Shakespeare at the Barter Theater in Abington, Virginia, before he hit it big as Ernest. And his dream was to play Hamlet. Obviously, he was so typecast, he never got a chance. He died at 50 of cancer. And on his gravestone, they put the comedy and tragedy masks, which are usually reserved for the highest end of the theater. Jim Varney. So now you see, if you're a true history buff, when you go find one famous grave, and it is like a treasure hunt, you do get to enjoy that, you also get to find all kinds of people that are buried close to them who might have done something big that is completely forgotten. If you're a history buff, obscurely famous graves is the way to go. See you next time.